Hi, I'm Kelly at Book and Paper Arts, and this video is the first in a series on how to keep a stay-at-home travel journal. Because I don't know about you, but I live in Wales, and I can tell you right now that we're not going anywhere for a while. So if you would like to see all of these videos in this 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 course that I'm putting here on YouTube, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And that way you won't miss any. I want to start by talking about supplies. When I first learned about keeping it an illustrated journal, the very first thing I was told was always take your art supplies with you. Always. And it, it's pretty simple. If you've got your stuff with you, then you are 100% more likely to actually be working on pages when you are in a cafe or a restaurant if you're stuck in a doctor's office, believe me, it's much better to have them with you and uh, then have them at home if you want to work on pages. It works. Before I show you what's in my portable art supply kit, I just want to say that uh, I have to admit that my take-along art studio is, is pretty nice. But when I first started out, it was not. I was broke. And I just had a couple of pencils and a $5 sketchbook in a Ziploc bag. And they did the job just fine. So start with what you've got. No excuses. And if you can, add one pencil at a time, one pen, one crayon. Do that and you're going to get there. I do like this bag, however. It is by Lyot Lab. And uh, there is a link to them in the text here. They do not pay me, although I wish they would. I just really like this bag, and I have several of them. As you can see, shortly after getting this bag, I had uh, a mishap involving a leaking fountain pen. Oops. Let's see. I like this bag because it, to start with, it has pockets. Pockets here. Pockets. Pockets. Pocket. Let's see. Also, it opens as a pouch, and it also opens completely flat, which makes it really easy to get to stuff. Let me show you what's in the pockets here. First, obviously these are bulldog clips, and I use those, especially if I'm drawing outside, I can clip my pages together so they don't blow everywhere. It's also a good way to add things to your journal. Um, as you go, uh, like brochures, postcards, uh, menus, business cards, and then you can just clip them in with a bulldog clip. You don't have to glue them in. Inside this pocket is a bamboo dip pen, which I use with some ink that I'll show you in a moment. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, a cookie, a biscuit, and this is a very tiny watercolor brush for detail. It's mainly here because it came with one of my kits. It's, why not? Over here is another pocket. Inside of it is a lucky dollar bill. It's a long story. And finally over here, there's a little pocket where I do keep a fountain pen. And I use this for writing text and also for making drawings uh, with ink that I can then turn into an ink wash. And I will be showing that technique in an upcoming video. Let's see. In these over pockets, I have my pens and pencils and brushes. Is that it? 
These are water brushes by Pentel. And it's a brush that has a little, this reservoir here, you fill up with water. And that way you don't need to take water with you. You've always, you've always got some with you in this brush. It's very tidy, really handy. And I have a couple of those. Sometimes I fill them up with ink and water, and then that way I have a, an instant wash, but I don't seem to have it today. These are a couple of fine tip art pens, liners, a couple of pencils, This is a white gel pen, and I find these super handy for adding embellishment or detail to a drawing. This is just a fancy pen. And this is a charcoal. A charcoal pencil that I like for adding shadow and fun stuff like that. I also have a very small ruler, which is very helpful for me. I'm not the, the best drawer in the world, so this uh, helps me with my lines. And this is another watercolor brush. I use this one a little bit more. And these are my scissors. Now, these are by Cutterby. And I have owned a lot of scissors, but these are my favorite. And I have uh, about four pair. Uh, just a word of warning, if you are making a travel journal that is not for staying at home, be sure you take it out before you get onto an airplane because they will take them off of you. I know I found out the hard way. Let's see what's inside. This is a teeny tiny little eyedropper that I can use with ink or a little bit of a watercolor wash and then make splotches on my page. I have a couple of pencil sharpeners, a kind of messy er eraser, a glue pen. Sorry, glue stick. This is a tiny container of gesso. And it came with a craft kit. But if you've got a little container and you want to put a little gesso in there, like the white gel pen, it's, it's really good for adding some funky detail. This is a mister and... Uh, if you know, there's a recent video uh, that I have of showing ways that you can use a mister to add uh, nice detail to your pages, especially if you're prepping them. So uh, I'll link to that. But I like having just that little bit of ink with me. This is a handmade walnut, walnut ink. And then I can also use this with... with my dip pen. I just can go right in there and then I can add some mark making. So this just lets me carry a little bit of ink pretty safely. Well, I say that, but you know. Now also inside I have a little palette. And I find this to be really, really handy. So I think this came in another watercolor box. And finally, I have my watercolors themselves. This is a nice kit that I gave myself as a present by A. Gallo. And uh, 
they're very nice hand colored I'm sorry handmade and here you can see how the water brush works I've just added some water picked up my color and I can paint without if I don't have a little thing of water in addition to carrying a small portable watercolor half pan set I also keep another box of colors this is an altered Altoid tin and inside I have a few more watercolors and here's a secret weapon these are water soluble sticks by Derwent they're called ink tents that's because they're actually ink and not paint and they will give you a lot of color and what I do is I break them in half so that I can put a lot of them in a pan and they don't weigh as much and then when I'm ready I can just actually put some water on the stick itself and it will act as another color which gives me well what it does is it expands my palette without having to, to carry another um, palette haha <laughs> so it can be a little bit heavy if I am hiking or something like that I will probably leave some of this uh, behind and catch it up later but basically yeah I I take this everywhere so if you have any questions or feedback please let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to get back to you in the meantime I have one last uh, request it's a little bit of housekeeping if you have subscribed to my online newsletter in the last two to three months um, I'm very sorry to say that I found out yesterday that the plugin that gets your information to my newsletter was disabled so it never got added to my subscriber list if you would still like to receive my newsletter and if you do what that is is every other week uh, you will have an email in your inbox that will have uh, video tutorials and uh, free downloads of vintage paper and the occasional pep talk so um, please uh, go over and resubscribe again the link is in the text there below and I'm really grateful truly until then, go make something, and I'll see you next Friday.